everybody. Welcome back to Stitching Big Things with Hallie. I'm Hallie. Thanks so much for joining me again today. Today is Friday, September 22nd, 2023. If you are a new viewer, welcome to the channel. This is a channel about cross stitch, so hopefully you are in the right place. And if you are a returning friend, welcome back everybody. Uh, so good for you um, to stop by and spend a bit of your precious time with me. I hope everybody's uh, two weeks has been good. Mine has been um, very normal, very routine, which is great. Got a lot of stitching here to talk about, which is good. And if you are with me on the last video, you know that full coverage is ruling my life right now. And I love it. Um, I'm in a, quite a few challenge groups and in this uh, Whip Warriors, is the challenge group right now that currently has a uh, full coverage challenge going on and I am enjoying it for this month. Basically, it is a back to school challenge with the theory being uh, that you start with your oldest whip. You know, if you were in the back to, in the school world realm, you know, you always start with the seniors because they're the oldest and you work your way. So you start with your oldest whip, you put 1200 stitches in each whip and then you move to the next one um, by start date. So you work from your oldest to your youngest. So that's currently where I am at. I'm somewhere working my way towards the end. I had 12 total, which is great because it made it super easy. I pretty much every week I try to work on three projects and I think I'm pretty darn close. Um, I think I might be down to my last, let's see. I've got three left. So next week I'll have three. So um, yeah, so that'll be good. It'll, it should work out just perfectly and then I will have put at least 1200 stitches into each project. But before we get to what's coming, let's talk about what I did. So let's start with the first one. This is uh, Trimming the Tree. And this is a Randall Spangler uh, artwork and it is charted of course by Heaven and Earth Designs. I am stitching this currently on 20 count easy grid fabric. I am doing it one over one full cross and I had to move the Q-snap. So I did relocate the Q-snap. Here's where I relocated it to so I could get this side, but I wanted to show you guys. So I did take at least this corner out um, so you could see where I ended up. So super happy about that was able to get him all stitched in except for these but you know when i work this over i can still hit these down here and i can still get these so but all of this over here at least for now is complete and i'm very much enjoying it as i said 20 count stitching at one over one full cross um and i started this um it says 710 but it's not my oldest. So it must have been 710 of whatever year. Um, maybe it was 720. That would actually make more sense. So, but no worries. Very happy with it. Happy to move on and to be getting a bunch of new stitches in. So that is where we were at with that. For, let me give you the details. I put in 1,831 stitches. I'm currently at 17.74% according to Pattern Keeper. So that is exciting. Okay, next uh, youngest whip is Scaredy Cat. Um, here is the what it will look like when it's finished. This is a Jeff Haney artwork that is charted by Hayde. I am stitching this one on 20 count easy grid fabric. No, 18 count easy grid fabric and I'm stitching it two over one. And yeah, cause see I started this on 10, 1, 20. So 7, 10, 20 is probably my guess. But here is where I am at with this project. So what did I add in? I added a bunch of different stuff in a lot of different places. Kind of started up here in this background, added in this. This is the stem for the pumpkin that's gonna come down. Here is the start of the pumpkin-y stuff. So I worked a little more in and around where I could get good numbers in and around the kitty cat. 
since the goal was 1200, you know, sometimes I don't want to just like fill in, you know, I like to do a little bit of both. So I still have a few random stitches here and there, but I'm working at getting the majority of this filled in. I added quite a bit on this one because I just kept going. Um, I very much enjoyed this one. I put in 2,145 stitches on this. I am currently at 14.88%. So super happy about that one. He is probably going to come out again for some October stitching. So again, we'll get to that because I've really, I kind of, you, I, I'm all over the place. Let's just start with that hot mess over here. Usually I like to kind of stitch what is calling to me. But this month I have really enjoyed knowing what was coming next and just working my way down the list. Check, 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 check. So I thought, okay, what would I stitch for October? Well, we'll get there. But I do have some plans for October. Made me think about that. Made me think about the next three that were coming up. And it also made me start thinking about 2023, 2024 uh, potential finishes. And anything that I think I might be able to potentially finish in 2023 as well. So, but we'll get that to that at the end. Back to the projects. The next one that I worked on is Red is Ravishing. Here's what it will look like. Love this project. This is a artwork by Peggy Davis and it is actually charted by Artisy. I am stitching this project on 18 count easy grid fabric, two over one. Uh, and here we are. So I pretty much was working up here in the corner, filling things in as it would go across, of course, um, I fill it in all the way across. So, um, so I'd pick a color many times, a lot of these blues and things got added over here. So I was able to add in because this one is a little more travely, a little more traveling around, not so concentrated of a, a section. I was able to add in 1,286 and then I'm like, that's enough. <laughs> hit my 1200 and we're moving on. So this is at 11.16%, um, but overall very much enjoying it. So red is ravishing. Yay. He might come out. I don't know. I was going to say he could maybe come out because he's kind of fallish, but not really fallish. More, I'm more summery, I think. Okay, next is Ornament, the Enchanted Christmas Snowman. Um, loving this project. This is a Donna Gelsinger project charted by Hayde. Uh, because it's an ornament, it's one of the big round ones. You guys just saw that. Um, I am stitching this on 18 count easy grid fabric. I'm stitching it two over one. This particular project, I am also doing uh, color completion. So started with the black, worked my way down. So as I finish one, I'm able to like pop these off because, you know, like I'll pop one of these off for you. Like it's all, so if I need something up in here, I just pop it off and stitch what's up in here that I need. And then I put it back on so that the majority of the uh, picture is in the center. So what did I work on? I added, as you can see here, I left this thread. I was working on this, this extra red in his mittens. So there's quite a bit of that that comes up here. There's quite a bit of that over in here. So that'll be the next. But majority of what I worked on was down in here along the body. A lot of these little purples, um, all of that stuff is down in here. All of those colors are also in the arm and in the face and you know a sprinkling here or there throughout the project so i was able to add <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> a little frog in my throat 1327 stitches and uh, i have currently 51.79 percent complete and i have 21 colors done super exciting. So I love when I can pick a color and I try to get it everywhere and get it done and pull it out. So 
loving that that is coming together so quickly. So fun, fun, fun. That's the only one that I do like that color completing is not too terribly bad on a small project like that. In a big project, I don't know how anybody would do that. So that's a lot. Okay, so then I think I had an appointment. I had something I was going to be in the car for a while, and I'm like, none of these are real. I mean, they're car friendly, they're fine, but it's a lot to take. So I'm like, can I grab something quick and easy? So I grabbed uh, my Merry Christmas ornaments. This is an Owl Forest embroidery pattern, and I'm doing it on uh, color and cotton sandstone in 32 count. And I'm stitching it with all the hand dyed cotton floss from Owl Forest Embroidery and I'm stitching it two over two. I had four stitches literally in the fabric when I started and I was able to add 257 stitches. So R is the letter that I am working on and I was just able to get the outline of the R. So it was a, a small appointment, um, but I was glad I was able to get a couple hundred stitches in um, and make use of my time. That is the only non-full coverage project that I've worked on so far this month. So it's nice. Okay, next project that I worked on is No Smoking by Randall Spangler, charted by Hayde. Um, I am working this on 20 count easy grid fabric and I'm working it two over one with all the called for DMC colors. And currently here is where I'm at. What did I add in? I basically went down and I started with this color kind of right here all through the letter. So I went through and added all those. Then I added the next darkest color all the way through. Then I started adding a lot of this brown that's coming through here. So I added all of that in. So that's basically what I worked on. I was basically flushing out those letters and kind of finding the bottom of that uh, little sign there. I was able to add 1,449 stitches. I am only at 11.1% on this particular project. Started it 317 of 22. So enjoy it very much. Um, love this little picture. I think it's so cute and look forward to watching it emerge. Okay, and the last project, I just picked this up yesterday. I guess I picked it up um, Wednesday evening, later in the evening on Wednesday. I didn't put much into it on Wednesday, but um, got the majority of what I had done yesterday. And that is on Mini Nights. This is an L.A. Williams uh, artwork, and it is charted by Hayde. And it is on a 20, I'm stitching this on a 20 count easy grid fabric. I'm stitching it two over one with all of the called for colors. This is the only project I have that's kind of what I would call grayscale. Um, and so here, let me show you where I'm at. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit the counter. Here is where I currently am at. I basically worked all in this guy here, um, kind of this medium gray here. That all got added in all down through here, all through here and started working my way, giving him an outline over here as well. This is black um, and I had just kind of dropped this one here, but now I am able to pick it up and continue on around. This is all black in through here. And so, but at some point I'll work that, that string in, but that's the color that's sitting there. I, uh, so far have been able to put in 976 stitches on this particular project and I am at 13.33%. This is a real easy, easier stitch, I think is the right word. Um, it's not easy. I mean, you still have to follow the pattern, but it's not like 90 colors. It, I think there's like 21 colors, maybe. That's, that's very doable. It really is very doable. Like this whole big section is one big color. It's, is one, one color. I just haven't stitched on a cross with it. So, 
but I'll, I'll get there. So this is, I find that this particular project travels very well when you're traveling like in an airplane or even if you're trying to stitch in a car. Um, it's fairly easy to manage because there's not a lot of color changes. You can get some good numbers in. It's on 20 count, so it's pretty easy to see. Um, so this will probably be going with me. I will be going in three weeks to Stitch West. This will be going with me, I believe, because I like to stitch this one on the plane. So that's what I did when I went to StitchCon. This one went with me. So, okay. And that is all of my projects. Quite, it was quite a pile. I worked on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six full coverage, one non-full coverage. So I gave you an indication that I had three more left. Let's talk about what you will see in the next video. For sure, you're gonna see The Wool Shop. You're gonna see Got a Secret, which you have just recently seen, but you're gonna see it again, because here we are. And my most recent start that I just was my, basically my stitch con start for this year is Not a Creature Was Stirring. So those three will be coming up for sure in the next video. Thinking about October, because we get through that time, we're kind of looking at October. I'm feeling like doing some fall stitching. So I kind of looked through my projects and said, what, what kind of gives me that fall vibe? to um, have a little uh, stitching. So here's kind of what I came up with. Definitely gonna put in some time on Autumn Quaker. Since I have now fallen back in love with it, I wanna keep the momentum going. So we're definitely doing Autumn Quakers. We're gonna do my hollow, hollow, hello, sorry, Halloween Village Afghan, definitely, cause Halloween. Um, we're gonna do Tonight We Ride, cause that one is, um, Totally perfect for the Halloween season. Those are the three for sure that were really easy when I looked at my my list. I decided to add in Pandemic because it has not gotten nearly enough love yet. And being on that red fabric with black thread, it has that spooky Halloween-y um, feel, which is kind of what I wanted in my Pandemic project because pandemic was kind of an odd, weird situation. And so I wanted to have that feel resulted in the fabric and the threads. Um, and then I have not picked up evening in the park yet. So sorry. My printer apparently wanted to get involved and join the video today. So, so sorry about that. He is literally sitting right next to you. And I guess he just decided to clean himself for a moment or two. So um, evening in the park is uh, my shadow lane and I think I will put a little love into that as well. It doesn't have a Halloween-y feel but I have not worked on it yet and I do want to spend a little time so I will probably try to put some stitches into that. So those are for sure's for October. Of course you know there's always you know I can always do got a secret max color because it's got spiders in it so he may end up coming back in at the end of next month as well. We'll see. Um, so you never know, but we have some for, some for sure projects. Potential finishes. Let's talk really quick because I have what I consider three potential finishes for this year. Castles in the Air, which all the cross stitching is done. All I have is back stitching. So if I just spend some time on it, I could get that one finished for sure. Tonight we ride. I think if I just spend a few weeks with some concentrated effort, I think that one could be done. So getting it some time in October and seeing how far I can get with it, I think it's a potential 2023 finish, if not definitely a 2024. The other one that I think is fairly quick, stitches up fairly quick, is one down, three across. Probably not gonna have that one out till November or December, so it may not actually get finished, but it certainly would be a 2024 um, guaranteed. Some other options for 2024 when I look at my list. Those ornaments. All I have to do is spend a little bit of time on those ornaments and I could probably have those finished. So that may be a potential for 2024. My sunflower mandala. It stitches up really, really fast. I very much enjoy it. Um, so that one is a definite, probably 2024 finish. 
And if I really make a concerted effort, I think I could put Cookie Fairy on that list as well. I could have a full coverage finish. So that's super exciting. So uh, unfortunately, a lot of my smaller projects have gotten completed this year. Um, so maybe we'll have a few new starts in there as well with some smaller things so that 2024 will have a few more finishes as well. But that is it for my stitching. What are you looking at for 2024? Do you have any plans yet? Do you have some potential finishes coming up for 2023 or 2024? I would love to hear about all of your stitching plans for the rest of the year and if you have any for next year. I know those of you, I asked this question a few weeks ago and I got quite a good response for a number of people who are already thinking about 2024. So thank you. No need to send that again. I love that. If you've come up with anything different, if you have any new ideas, please share those with me. I would love to see what you're up to. So, okay. Thank you again, everybody, for stopping by. Sorry this one's been quick, but I've got a few. Uh, I've got my kiddo from Waco is coming in for lunch with his girlfriend, and they're picking up my little one and taking him for the weekend. So they will be coming in in just a little bit, so I want to make sure to wrap this up and get it edited and hopefully up to YouTube before they get here. So thank you again for joining me. We'll see you in two weeks for sure. We will have... Hopefully, I think I might have um, September numbers. Yeah, September numbers by then, which would be exciting. If not, I'll be really close and we'll have them the following week. But I think it's I think I should have them in two weeks. So um, that'll be exciting. We're getting closer to the end. Um, so we'll see. Thanks again, everybody, for sticking with me. And we will see you in the next one. Until then keep stitching those big things. <laughs>